the Pete's getting all of our lines off and that's the light I had to fix last night one of the running lights uh, wasn't working correctly but we got it working so a pretty pretty easy off the wind just kind of pushed us right out of the slip the problem is here in Tarpon Springs it's really shallow up in front of you so but I'm just gonna use my electronics right now and uh, take us right down the channel and it'll get light here in about another 45 minutes it'll be by the time we get out of the channel it's all no wake out of here so I'm just gonna go nice and slow and just take it easy so I really want to concentrate on what I'm seeing right now which, from the electronics, which is this tablet right here. And all I do is hit this button right here and then it gets me going uh, direction up. And then I have a good 3D course of what's what I'm looking at right here on that one right there. And you can just see the whole course in front of me. So you can see Pete down there on the deck with the spotlight, just putting the dinghies away. This is a, kind of a tight spot right here between the uh, this working toe and this barge right here but after that it'll open up a little bit and we'll on our way out of here out of Tarpon Springs I always like Tarpon Springs I like coming down here anybody that's afraid of the channel it's not that bad at all so you can see the lighted marker right there shining so we'll just head right for that you can see it right here on my charts I wanted to share with you why I run both of these uh, softwares. Look at that, uh, you know, that's just a sexy, sexy trail, right? And that's on uh, Aqua Maps. And then this is what I'm looking at on Navionics. So that's the two things. But the, now the sun's starting to uh, come up and uh, I got pretty decent visibility now. Kiko? All of the lines are clear, decks ready for departure. Chafe. Kiko, and it's, we didn't have to leave this early, we really didn't, but I want to get across Tampa Bay if we can and get over to Sarasota. It's about a 75 mile run, it says we'll get in about 6 o'clock uh, and we'll just grab a mooring ball and, and we might stay there for two days, I'll have to see how far it is over to Fort Myers, uh, to, it's where we pick up our next YouTube subscriber and uh, see what happens. Heading down to the Keys, I think we're just gonna do an overnighter over that right, just go right to Key West and then hang out there for a few days. Yeah, and then we, we got another subscriber that just signed up last night. Yeah, um, uh, we got, so that, the one coming out tomorrow is, or uh, Sunday is coming from Oklahoma. And then we have somebody, uh, Tats is coming from Phoenix. We keep promising you Tats, Tats is coming. Speed. This isn't true speed because we're coming in an outflowing current, so it's showing us at uh, 9.2 uh, miles an hour. But our actual speed's probably about 7 once we get into the current here. So this time says 3.04 arrival, but we'll actually probably get there somewhere around... Uh, 5. Yeah, probably about 5 o'clock if we everything goes smooth. Kiko, why don't you uh, fire up uh, uh, cla our, uh, uh, Squeaky? about it got a pretty uh, you can see the light out now Wednesday morning heading over to um, Marina Jacks is where we'd like to get Sarasota Florida we might stay there for two days actually uh, on the mooring balls test a few more systems out everything seems to be working just really really nicely Got all our laundry done in uh, Tarpon. Chief got some shopping done. I like Tarpon. Yeah, Tarpon was good to us. So folks, one of the greatest ways you can follow uh, this adventure live full time if you got a smartphone is on Nebo. So it's a, just an app you put on your phone and then we turn it on and you can actually follow us live on Nebo and you can see exactly where the boat was. And for you guys that want to join us, even for a day, a couple of hours or anything like that, like we'll be in uh, Marina Jacks here for a couple days, anybody wants to come out there, please just feel free to uh, message me on uh, Facebook and uh, we'll get you out to the boat and let you take a look at it and go through all the systems with you and, and just have a wonderful time. Anyway, I, I just wanted to share that with you. Make sure that you're following uh, Southern Estate on Nebo, on the Nebo app, uh, and you just get that in the app store. Uh, key. So we're going past Analog Key Pass, and this is the pass I usually come in, so I've never been in this backside, but this time I came in the backside. Have we 
can go outside. Like right now, Navionics shows us going outside, but I'm not. I'm just going to follow the ICW and uh, we'll stay on this course right here and it'll cut back in in a few minutes. About an hour, probably. Honeymoon Bridge, Newton Honeymoon Bridge. This is uh, southbound traffic. Can you copy? Let me Causeway Bridge. Go ahead. Yeah, Denine, uh You guys are uh, 18 foot at low bar on the uh, on the boards, right? Roger that. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. Uh, I'll get up a little closer. Uh, we only, we're 20 feet and it looks like we're 24 to the center. Uh, we'll check the boards and if everything looks good, we're going to keep going. Yeah, you can add two to three feet to the center span. Roger that. We we'll appreciate it and we'll check as we get a little closer. Bridge of the day. See how that goes. Try yeah. I think we look pretty good. I don't see a problem here. Good. You don't look close. Not even one of the outside. Uh, oh, those. I don't know. They might be a little close. Bridge, uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day, and uh, we'll see you next time, crew. You're very welcome, Captain. Have a good day. And by the way, you had about two feet on that your smallest antenna there, clearance. Okay. Yeah, Roger that. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for looking. We appreciate it.
So folks, we're in Clearwater, Florida. A little windy out here today. There's the Municipal Marina right up here. Literally, I'm just driving the boat mostly by uh, using the remote autopilot. That's why we steer the boat a lot. Sometimes we'll have to let go of it. I got it. Chief, what are you doing? Nice. Man, that wind is howling, Chief. Oh, pretty good. I'm glad you made the right call there in Galveston. Man, I ain't going out in this. <laughs> 